WTFNN. Headline news update. Hi, folks. This is Basil Chapman, the host of the Tag Technicians Hour and the opening call newsletter doing the 1 p.m. TFNN update, the Dow's down 57 at 26,000. It was very much over 26,000 this morning. It was at 26,248. Fabulous move, bumped into the resistance. You see this trend on the left is the daily chart. You see this green and red line, bumped right into resistance at a midpoint, and it's pulling back here. The next support will be 25,900 and... 70, I think, yeah, 70 to 29, 25,920 over the next day or two. Uh, if it takes that out, then it's going to be a little bit more of a timeout, but it's still a very strong market. The S&P is also down a little bit now. It's down seven. Uh, it's almost eight at 28.79. Had a very strong move, and now it's just digesting this very big gain. 28.72 to 28.63 will be the support that I'd be looking at. On the shorter term, major support at 28.51. If it does that, I'm not sure it needs to do that. Just this is a breather off their spectacular move. The QQQ, same thing. And the QQ is down, NDX 100 trading vehicle down 23 at 189. What's really important, the, the Russell is also the Russell 2000. But gold is coming back here. Gold is uh, up three. It was down six earlier in the day. Now it's up three. The 1332 digestion after a very big move to the 1352 level. I still think that it has further to go to the upside as the dollar, which has been fabulous over the last year and a quarter, is uh, taking a bit of a breather and it's at 96.74, down just two ticks. But I wouldn't be surprised if at some point it's at 96.75, it does test the 96.20s, maybe 95.80 level over the coming week or two. That's going to be key. It just needs a breather. It's had a fabulous move for a while. Crude oil, in fact, was up earlier, and now it is just a fraction up. It's up three cents at 53.29. It's really struggling. Crude oil and the IYTA, a question about that. Yep, the transports are also down. The crude oil and the transports have been kind of failing lately. I want to see them both move up together with the, with the Dow. That will be a very good sign. But this is a breather within a market that's had a spectacular move from, from Monday a week ago where the Dow was trading um, 14, 1,500 points lower. So this is a timeout, just a well-deserved timeout. So, Junior, you got Steve Rhodes coming up, then Dave White and Tom O'Brien. And uh, have a great day.